This class is brought to you by the LA Care and Blue Shield Promise Community Resource Centers. The centers are a place to help you be active, healthy, and informed. We hope you enjoy this virtual class. Okay, so for our first round of exercises, we're gonna do our animal flow sequence. We're gonna do four exercises in a row, and we're gonna repeat those for three rounds with 10 reps each. What I want you to do is to start down on the floor and follow along with me with our dead bugs, our crab reach, our beast load and unload, and our downward dog. We're gonna start here on our back with our hands up to the ceiling and our feet off the floor. We're gonna take our right arm and our left leg and extend out, reaching as far as you can and bringing it right back up. That's one, two, and three, and four, and five. Remember, we're going to 10, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and we'll switch sides. Notice how this looks like a dead bug or a bug that may be dying. Can't roll over, get on its, back, on its legs. And six, let's do four more. There's one, and two, and three, and four. Nice job, that's really good. We're gonna bring the feet down. We're gonna sit up this time on our rear end with our hands back behind us and our feet flat on the floor. We're gonna go into our crab reach. We're gonna do 10 reps on each side. Now, our crab reach looks like this. This would be an example for you before we start. Crab reach, I extend my hips up and I reach back just like this. Back into the crab sit, and we're gonna alternate. We're gonna reach back and then sit back down. Just as our dead bug was a really good way for us to get uh, more core stability, this uh, crab reach is a really great way for us to increase shoulder mobility and shoulder stability and core stability as well. So if you're looking for strong abs, these are one of the ways that we can do that. It's not all about crunches and planks all the time. So here we go, 10 on each side. One, two, Three, four, we're going for 20 total. Five, six, and I'm forcing that bottom hand down into the floor. Pushing, eight. Thirteen, here we go. Fourteen, we've got six more. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and one more is 20. Nice job. So the next time we go around and we do that, I want you to make sure you're really pushing your hips, squeezing your glutes, pushing your hips up to the ceiling, okay? Our next exercise is gonna be our beast. So we're gonna flip over onto our hands and knees. Now the beast is a tricky one. It's a really good variation of a plank. Once again, something to really get our core nice and warm. We're gonna sit back on our toes. Notice my knees are on the ground right now. My hands are out here in front of me. Now, I'm gonna lift my knees off the floor just slightly. Notice how it's about one inch or so above off the floor. My hands are, are, are plugged in tight to the floor. I'm gonna extend out and breathe out and then push back. And two, just like so, and push back. And three, this may be a little bit tricky at first just to get the, the sequence down, but I can assure you as soon as we get through that second time, you'll know exactly what we're doing. We're gonna do four more, here's one. And two, deep squat here, and three, and four. Four, excellent, nice job. We're gonna come back down to the floor, shake it out for just a second. Now, the beast is, as I said, really good core, uh, core work here as well. We wanna squeeze the glutes as we go out into that plane. Now, the next move we're gonna do here is our downward dog. If you've ever done yoga or you're familiar with anybody who's done yoga, downward dog is something that everybody does in yoga, but we're gonna do it here today in this strength routine. So, we're gonna come up onto our toes, Hands and knees, notice I'm pushing my heels down to the floor. Downward dog. And we're gonna come into a plank. 
Up again. Stretch the calves. Stretch the shoulders. Push the, the chest to your toes. Come down into a plank. And again, up. We're gonna get a nice little hold for a few seconds and come back down. Two more. Up. Push your hips to the sky and back down. And one more, here we are. And relax, excellent. That was our first circuit, our first round. We're gonna go through that two more times. Follow along with me, okay? Okay, so now that we're done with our first round, we're gonna go into our second round. We're gonna repeat all four of those exercises again in the same sequence with the same amount of reps. Please make sure that you get water in between your sets. We wanna stay well hydrated through this. Let's start back with our dead bugs. There's four, follow along with me. And five, six, seven, keep the lower back flat. Eight, nine, and last one here. 10, we're gonna switch sides, left arm, right leg. If you started on the other side, that's fine too. There's eight, keep going. And nine, this is our last one, and we're gonna go into our crab reach, and 10, very good. Sit up, hands behind you, feet flat on the floor, feet spread about shoulder width apart. Remember, we're gonna drive the hips up to the ceiling and reach back behind us. Here we go, 10 on each side. Here's 10, halfway through. 12, 13, 14, 15, five more. Here we go, three and two. Last one here, one. Excellent, we're gonna flip on over to our hands and knees this time. Remember, beast, load and unload. We're gonna sit back onto our heels, lift the knees up off the floor about an inch, keep them off the floor the entire time. Move out to your plank and breathe out. Come back. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and 10. Awesome, perfect. So now we're gonna stay in that same position. We're gonna do our 10 downward dogs, excuse me. Now we're gonna stay in that same position. We're gonna do our five downward dogs out into our plank again. Up on the toes, hips to the ceiling. Hold it there for one. Two, three, come on down to your plank, and back up. Three, two, one, and down, there's two. One, two, three, and there's three. I wanna drive my chest to my toes. Two, and one, there's four. We got one more here. And five, nice job. Take another quick break, maybe 15 or 20 seconds. Grab a quick drink of water. We're gonna go back down one more time with our animal flow sequence. Now with animal flow, we're doing all of these individual exercises, but what we can do is we can start to combine them together. If you'll look out, I'll post another video of something that looks a little bit more fluid in the animal flow sequence. First off, starting back in our dead bugs, and I'm gonna show you a modification if you wanna make it just a little bit harder, hands are up just like this. We're gonna place our right hand on our left knee and I'm gonna push into that left knee. Not gonna go anywhere, just push and resist. 
and we're going to extend the opposite arm and leg. There's two. Three. Four. Breathe in. Breathe out. Five. And 10. Excellent job. We're going to switch sides. Place the other hand on the opposite knee. Reach out. And 10. Excellent. Go ahead and sit up. Let's go right into our crab reach. Probably getting pretty warm right now. Feet are shoulder width apart or wider. We're gonna drive up. If you notice that it's hard for you to push your hips up into a flat position, maybe bring your feet a little bit wider. That might make it easier. That's 10 right there. We got 10 more. Let's count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one here. 1. Excellent. Flip it on over. Last time with our beast. Load and unload. This is our beast position. I'm gonna unload. Knees are close to the floor, back is flat. There's two. Big breath in deep, in the deep squat. Breathe out, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Nine, squeeze those abs, squeeze those glutes. Last one, 10. Nice job. Whew. Okay, we're gonna go down into our downward dog. Five reps, downward dog into our plank. And one. Take a deep breath in on the top and exhale as we come down. Two. You might feel your shoulders burning a little bit. Maybe your quads, maybe your abs. Here we go, one more time. Excellent, good. Down to your hands and knees and relax. It's break time. Let's take another 30 seconds or so, maybe 45 here. We're gonna transition into our next sequence, our athlete sequence, where we're up moving around a little bit more, being a little bit more dynamic. Get some water and come right back here to the mat. Okay, now that you're warmed up, we're gonna move into our athlete circuit. Now this routine is comprised of four different exercises, just like the previous one was. We're gonna do three rounds each, and we're gonna do 10 reps each. This is athlete circuit is comprised of our skaters, our Heismans, our rebounders, and our quarterback step back. Follow along with me. Don't forget to drink some water in between our rest breaks. All right, with our skater, we're gonna start here with our feet about shoulder width apart. I'm gonna step back into what we call a curtsy step with the foot going back behind me and I'm going to reach out with that same hand. Right hand, right leg, and then I'm going to hop to the other side. Back and forth. Kind of like a speed skater. Speed skaters here and we're going to go one, two, three, stay light on the feet, four, five, six, seven, ten each side, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, five more, five, four, three, two, and one. Now, lateral movements that are really important. They keep our hips and our knees and our ankles in good shape. The Heisman is our next one. So everybody knows the Heisman pose here. We're gonna hold it this way and we're gonna hop and do the other, and do the other. And then maybe we'll make some modifications as we go along into our other rounds. Are you ready? We're gonna do 10 on each side, 20 total. Here we go, ready? Hand is up, leg is up, and hop. There's one, two, three, four, push it away. Five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Ten, nine, eight. Light on the feet. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now you notice your heart rate gets up on that, and that's good. We're athletes. We're going to stay moving and grooving, okay? The rebounder is next. We got to be able to jump high and jump far. We got to grab those rebounds off the goal. If we're ready, we're going to squat down, deep squat, touch the floor, reach up, hands overhead, okay? We're going to do 10 of these, right? Go at your own pace, but let's try to make it purposeful. Let's make it quick. Ready? Go. Here's one. And two, grab the ball. Three, four, five, land softly. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and 10. Once again, show you some modifications on the second round. If you don't feel like jumping, that's okay. Just squat, that's fine. We'll reach overhead and squat. Now, our quarterback step back. We're gonna get our footwork working here just a little bit, being light on the feet as we always have been. Right here, I'm gonna start facing you. Put your right shoulder to the, to the TV or to the camera, right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna step back. One, two, and step forward. Three, four, little karaoke. One, two, three, four. We're gonna do 10, one, two, and then we're gonna switch and do it again on the other side. Ready? Here we go, right here. One, two, three, four, there's two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, put the ball back, and eight, and nine, and 10, and we're gonna flip it around, let's go. There's one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, seven, and eight, and nine, and 10, and give it a little dack for you right there with the hip. Ready, good, okay. That's our first round of the athlete circuit. Let's go ahead and take a quick 30 second break. We're gonna keep moving and grooving. 30 seconds, and we're gonna go again. Okay, we're back. Athlete circuit, round number two. Here we go, if we're ready, we're gonna start with our skaters. Once again, get your feet set. Cross over, right? Cross over, here we go. One, two, three, four. If you wanna put that back foot down just like that, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. Let's go, one, two, three, four. Speed it up, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten good job excellent we're gonna move right into our Heisman really working on balance nice footwork if you want to be an athlete if you're young and trying to get into sports trying to make varsity trying to make a team doing little things like this can go a really long way okay let's go Heisman start up right leg up right hand down and hop and two and three and four and five and six seven eight nine 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Excellent job. Very, very good there. Okay, so we're back to our rebounder. As I mentioned while ago, if we don't want to jump up to grab that rebound, maybe we're just not there yet. That's quite all right, man. We'll work our way up to that point. What we want to do is just squat, hit the floor, reach up overhead, hit the floor. Reach up overhead. I'm gonna jump, and I'm gonna jump high, okay? Work with me, here we go, 10 of them. Let's go, rebound, up, two, three, four, five, get the jump ball, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and 10. Woo, okay, quarterback step back, working on that step back, that footwork. If we're ready, here we go, we're gonna step back, and forward, and back, and forward. There's four, and five, six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. And we're gonna switch and roll it back. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. Nice job. We're gonna take another 30 second break here. Let's play it out. 30 seconds, grab your water, and we'll go again. Are we ready? Okay, 
Now that you're back, you're ready to go. This is our third round. If you're ready to do it, let's do it. Watch for my modifications on the Heisman, okay? Make a little double step in between. It's gonna be really cool, really fun, really get your heart rate up. Here we go, skaters are first. We can go fast, we can go slow. Follow along with me. Here we are, skaters. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and slow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's not always about speed, it's about consistency, and it's about form. Make sure you have your form down first before you try to go fast. Or, or, or try to in, increase your, your performance. Get the, fo get the form down. Okay, we're gonna move into our Heisman. I told you I'm gonna modify the Heisman. We're gonna start here, we're gonna double step. One, two, one, two, just like that. Ready? We're gonna do 10 on each side. It's a lot of work. Okay, here we go. Hand up, one, two, there's two, three, pump the hands. step really does it work does some work for us okay quarterback step back here we go we ready quarterback step back in three two and one let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten nice shot turn it around here we go ready one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten. That's it. That's three rounds. Three rounds of our athlete. Three rounds of our animal flow. Now, if you still feel like sticking around, we've got two more exercises left. They're going to be really sweet. Not a lot of reps, but they're going to be really fun. Come on back. Okay, nice work. You made it through two separate routines, your animal flow routine and your athlete flow routine. Now, we're gonna move over into our final circuit. That's the actor routine. And this is a superset, meaning we're just gonna do two exercises uh, back to back, stand in and stunt person. If you know those acting terms, stand in and stunt person. The first one we're gonna do is the stand in. The stand in is a ground to standing drill. It's extremely important for all of us to be able to get up off the floor as quick as we possibly can. Here we go, are we ready? We're gonna go. I want you to take it easy. Make sure you have something soft underneath you, okay? Take it easy. Here we go, ready? One, and pop up, there's one. And two. And three. And four. Let's go. And five. Six. Seven. Almost there. Almost there. Eight. Nine. Oh my goodness. Here we go. And. Finally, we're gonna finish up with our stunt man. The stunt man, uh, you may know it otherwise as a burpee. Stunt man's a really fun exercise. Once again, it's gonna go uh, from standing down to the ground and back up. I'm gonna show you two different versions. We're gonna do five with a push up and five without. This is our last set. This is the last thing we're doing and we're gonna kind of cool it down with a little bit of breathing work. So if we're ready, I'll show you a couple of examples of the of these, uh, stunt man and then we'll finish up. You're gonna drop down on the floor, hop back, push up, jump up, stand up, okay? Now if we wanna modify that, maybe we don't wanna do a push up, we just jump back into the plank, hop back up or step back up and stand up, okay? Are we ready? We're gonna start 10 reps, five with push ups, five without, in three, two, and one. Here we go. One, and two, and three. Maybe we slow it down. 
and four, and five, and no push up. Six, speed it back up. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Very nice job. You guys did a great job. We made it through three rounds of our animal circuit, three rounds of our athlete circuit, and one full round of our actor. If you wanna do another round, go ahead and do it. Like I said before, you can do this anywhere, in your bedroom, in the living room, in your yard, out in the park, wherever you need. Just bring a bottle of water, maybe bring a mat, a towel, something with you, and get after it. Let's cool it down. I want you to sit down in, in, in a cross leg position. And all we're gonna do, we're gonna cool ourselves down. We're gonna take five big deep breaths in. We're gonna breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Just kind of down regulate our heart rate and our breathing. Are we ready? Five breaths in, here we go. Biggest breath you can possibly take right now. Good, and relax the body, let all the air out. And again. Two more. Last time. Good job. All right, thanks for working out with me today. I hope to see you soon. Have a great time. Hey, thanks again for joining me. We look forward to seeing you again next week virtually and hopefully soon at one of our resource centers. Until then, stay active, stay healthy, and stay informed.